can. It's a 55 gallon steel drum, and this is thick steel. Enough that it's gonna be hard to even crush it with a baseball bat. Well, if we're actually gonna do this, we're just gonna have to take everything that we've done so far and make it a little bit bigger. Bigger can, bigger stove, and we've got this pool of ice water. This only means one thing, I'm gonna need some help, and that's where Higginsworth comes in. Higgs, you did a Steve. great job of getting Thank all you. the materials together. If we're gonna supersize this thing, I'm gonna need your help, and we're gonna have to start by putting some of the water in here, Okay. right? So. We just need a little bit more water than we had in the smaller cans. So Absolutely. here's our water. Good. All right, now uh, let's turn this on okay. and fire up that stove there. Nice, that's a really good fire. All right, let's grab this end. You grab the other end and we'll just kind of pick it up in here. Okay. <sighs> nice. Make sure it's stable so it doesn't tip over. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Good. All right. So here's what we want to do. We want that flame to boil the water. That okay. water is going to turn from a liquid into a gas. That water vapor is going to push all the air out of this 55 gallon drum, right? Uh, and we're going to start to see that water vapor come out here. Absolutely. The only thing we have to do now is wait for it to boil. About two minutes go by. All right, let's look at the temperature. Temperature okay. 212. That's perfect. Right. Let's do this. All right. Safety glasses on, safety gloves. Okay. All Thank right. So here's you your glasses. Thank you. Those. We turn off the gas and lock down the cap. Okay. Really tighten it down. Okay. Okay. Good. Keep going. That's good. Okay. Good seal. All right. Throw it off Set to the side. Down. Take these. Okay. Let's pick it up and put it in the water. <sighs> Got it. Okay, yep. Bingo. Now, we don't know when it's gonna go. Do you hear it talking? Here, look at this. All right. All right, move this over the top. Ready? Now, the steel is thick. You've got those water molecules now coming closer together. the power of air. <laughs> that was amazing. That's awesome. That scared the heck out of me. Wow. <laughs> Did you see that go? That was bam and it was in. As soon as we took the can and put it in the swimming pool, I thought we had some time. So I was going to explain what was going on with the molecules. The whole thing takes off and it crushes. And when you looked at it, that was wall to wall touching. That was amazing. Quick calculation, there's actually 3,400 square inches of surface area on that drum. Multiply that by 14.7 pounds per square inch. That's 50,000 pounds of pressure pushing on the can. Look at this, this is, look at this. This is steel. Look at this. It crushed it. That implosion was wow. so powerful, it put a big crack in the kiddie pool. That pool's not gonna hold water anymore. That's the power <laughs> of air pressure. <laughs>